This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, Kodak Black is getting it from Boosie and 1090 Jake. Boosie says that BG from Cash Money saw Kodak Black in protective custody when he was locked up. Sometimes they make you go into protective custody when you get locked up. Uh, you'd, you'd have to request to not be in protective custody. And who cares? Boosie is just... Boosie's really sounding real lame now i'm gonna be honest like he's so for someone who just got arrested with a gun right and is facing losing his freedom again right uh boosie should be worried about different things but he's worried about kodak black doing something with takashi he's the one who started that he started having a problem with it uh publicly right only true criminals care about this. Uh, most people don't care if Kodak Black, who dissed Takashi on the song, right? He actually dissed Takashi on the song. Nobody would care. Anybody would take a million to do that. So I get a million. I get to diss you on a song and, and, and it gets put out. Cool. A million bucks. Boosie's, I think Boosie's more jealous that uh, Kodak Black got that opportunity. And 1090 Jake is calling out certain things, and I understand why he's doing it, because, you know, he's a blood, and Kodak Black had bloods protecting him, but then he does a song with Takashi, who snitched on some bloods. I can get his position a little more than I can get Boosie's position. Um, then we got Little Meech. He gets caught out uh, doing... Uh, cheating supposedly on a ring doorbell who leaked the ring doorbell footage they say it's an influencer right uh now little meech came out and said i can't go get my uh cousin some groceries i can't help my cousin bring a bag in the house went to the grocery store man yeah i can't help my cousin bring a bag in the house went to the grocery store man I didn't see any bags, but hey, I'll, I'll let him stick to that story. There's no proof otherwise. Um, then we got Gilly the Kid. Wallow buys Gilly a uh, Polaris slingshot, which is like a little motorbike, to cheer him up. And he's he's like, you know, he's just very feeling very loved and blessed at this time because, you know, think about it. He lost his son. Everyone's definitely there for him. And that's special, man. Um, Drake says Meek Mill got him up out of Philly real quick when he performed there during their past feud. Uh, it means the most to me that I can come back to this city and show growth as two men. <laughs> Bro, Drake plays the PR game beautifully. That's all I could say. Meek Mill did not have any pressure on Meek Mill. <laughs> I mean, Dra I mean, Meek Mill did not have any pressure on Drake when he performed. <laughs> Everyone showed up for Drake. Uh, they, it, it, at that point, Meek Mill was the loser in the situation. Arab was on Me, uh, Drake's side. Arab was home at the time. Uh, Meek Mill wasn't doing anything with OBH in the streets. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't happening. So Drake is just being really nice here and making Meek Mill feel good about himself. Let's just be honest, okay? Um, and why not? He already won. He already won. The guy's a billionaire, okay? Meek Mill's not even close to being a billionaire. He hangs out with billionaires. Drake's one of the billionaires he hangs out with. <laughs> uh, he's not in the billionaire club at all. Then we got uh, Nene Leek saying, and yeah, I guess she's talking about, I, I don't really care about the Nene Leek stuff. Let's see what else we got here. That's about it, man. Boosie's kind of like playing himself, going too hard with this. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.